Hey everyone, it's the Phototech. I hope you're all doing well. Just a quick video on the Razer Wolverine V3 Tournament Edition. Someone left a comment that they couldn't calibrate their out-of-box stick drift, so they had to return the controller. And I don't blame them because I couldn't find in any manual online or uh, anywhere that how to manually calibrate the Wolverine V3 uh, Tournament Edition. So you can see my left stick is drifting. It wasn't like this out of the box. It was slightly out, but I was able to calibrate it. I did that purposely just to showcase uh, the method for this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and correct that center point. So at the moment, the center point is way on the left. And uh, even if I come to the uh, right at the end of the play of the stick, it's still not centered. So I have a lot of drift, around 16% on one side. Uh, so to go into manual calibration, uh, we basically, it's like many other controllers. You press menu, view, and Xbox buttons. And uh, you plug the... Um, cable in, you have to hold them a little bit, and once the LED light starts flashing, uh, you are in calibration mode. What I do is uh, press the triggers in three times uh, without the trigger stops engaged. My right stick was fine, so I'll just do uh, three rotations of the right stick and let it go, make sure it's right in the center. So the same thing for the left stick, uh, I'll do three rotations and let it go, make sure it's in the center. Now, this is important. To come out of the calibration, I have to press down and Y. Wherever I will hold the sticks to, before I press that down and Y will become the center point. So I have a little bit of a play on the stick, so I'll make sure this is right in the middle. And now when I press down and Y, and when I restart the controller, you'll see that the stick will be calibrated properly and it's not going to have, uh, it's basically the center point is right in the middle of that play I have. Same thing for the right stick as well. Now, if you have to move, let's say it's really bad and uh, you have very uneven output and stuff, so just uh, check the, uh, that you have like equal sort of output going on up and down because if you move too much, you might have like, you know, not equal output and stuff going on. But if you have to move a lot more than this, then what you have to do, same thing, um, and I'll just, you know, uh, hold these three buttons. We don't have to worry about the center point when we're plugging it in and and now it's in calibration, same thing. So I'll do the triggers first and um, do the right stick quickly, the left stick. Now let's say that I needed to adjust it a lot. Um, uh, so unfortunately, because we have no visual sort of representation, so you have to hold it um, wherever you want the center point to be. So I'm holding it to the left, or let's say I have to hold it to the right. So I hold it to the right. Now when I press down and Y, that will become the center point, okay? So when I reconnect the controller, you'll see I have a drift on the other side. Um, so you can see the left stick, like, you know, because I, wherever I held the stick before I pressed down and Y, that became the center point. So thankfully, we have a manual calibration option, which is a huge plus, because uh, uh, my Chroma uh, V2, if you've seen my review, I can't use this controller because it has drift towards the top side, like five, four, five percent, sometimes even more than that. So that's useless for me. Uh, so this uh, manual calibration option means that these controllers will thankfully be lasting a lot longer uh, than just going out of you know calibration. So when the springs are really loose, we'll be able to bring the center point right to the center. I hope this helps you out. Thanks to everyone who subscribed to the channel. Your support means a lot. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Hopefully, I'll catch you in one of my other videos. Bye for now.